Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, my name is Sail Agrawal. I just completed my four years of B.Tech from IIT Gandhi Nagar in Computer Science. I'm also going to join DISH as a software developer in a month. With immense pleasure, I would like to share with you guys that our channel has reached a milestone of 10,000 subscribers. This may look like a small number in comparison to those YouTubers who have lakhs and millions of subscribers, but for me, this is a great achievement because never in my dreams when I started this YouTube channel, uh, I thought that I will be able to. To reach such a milestone, so I would like to take an opportunity to thank all of you guys who have subscribed to my channel, who have showed so much of support, and you guys have showered so much of love to me. Uh, the best part of creating videos is to wait for your comments, your YouTube comments, your Insta DMs, or your LinkedIn DMs. When I read them, it fills me with so much of emotion, gratitude that I feel like I should make more and more videos. I feel motivated by reading your comments. Thank you so much for that, and I read every comment of yours. So please don't hesitate in commenting. and do subscribe to my channel let's make this channel bigger and better i was also thinking to do a live stream of about 20 to 25 minutes i would like to interact with you guys you can ask me any questions i would be more than happy to answer you so yes the live stream will be on this channel on sunday at 5 pm see you guys there in this video i am going to tell you how you can develop your logic building and problem solving skills so before we enter into the tips which i want to share with you guys i want you guys to understand this fact that developing a good logic building skill or developing a good problem solving skill is not a short term thing it takes a lot of time you cannot be a good problem solver in just 3 months or 4 months it actually takes a lot of time it can take up to an year so i would like you guys to embrace this fact and trust the process and don't run behind cheap solutions they won't help you so the first point is that let's say you are trying to solve a problem which will be solved by D but you are not able to solve that problem so the one major factor here that comes into play is that you don't actually know the real concept behind dp you have not solved some of the basic questions of dp you have not applied 1d dp 2d dp or even 3d dp to at least 10 problems each and that is why you are not able to think of the logic because you have not understood the concept of dp well you don't know why dp is used in some of the questions and why not greedy in most questions where the constraints are small dp is used these are some of the hints which you need to recognize which you need to Uh, understand and this will happen only if you have understood the concept well so first tip from my side would be to understand a dsa concept well solve some basic questions of uh, that concept and then you can jump on to the medium level questions and try to solve them on your own this will help you second point is that please let go of your ego so let's say if you are solving a question please keep a time limit for yourself i've seen many people who take a question on their ego and spend 2 to 3 hours solving that question wasting their time you don't have to do that because spending 2 to 3 hours on a question and you're not able to solve that question that does not help right you are just literally wasting your time so put a time limit if let's say it is a medium level problem i would suggest that don't give that question more than an hour if you're not able to think of the logic in one hour look at the tutorial look at the hints and then again try to rethink of the logic in uh, spend another 15 minutes on that problem then also if you're not able to solve the question look at the solution and these questions are the ones which will introduce you to a new concept to a new logic and now it's time to understand that logic and apply that logic apply this new concept in a couple of new questions how will it help you so let's say after one month if you encounter a similar problem to this you will recall that okay i had solved one problem a month ago which was solved using this technique and now you will be able to solve uh this this new problem by using that same technique because you had applied that same technique in a couple of new questions so by applying that concept that technique fits into your mind third point is again very very important is to follow a certain process while solving a problem many people when they reading a problem and are halfway through they start developing ideas into their mind they start thinking of the data structures that they will use they start thinking of the solution but that is completely wrong this process hampers your problem solving ability because you don't have that clarity of mind so first thing is to read the problem will understand the problem will understand the constraints understand the input format understand the output format and then now it's time to note down the key observations which you are getting from the problem note down some of the patterns try to recollect if you had done a similar kind of problem in the past if yes how how was that problem solved if no then you have will have to think of a new logic a uh, new way of solving then now it's time to think of the data structures think of the perfect algorithm that you are going to use 
and let's say if you have developed an algorithm which you think it is right please i request everyone to please dry run your algorithm on 10 to 15 test cases because 99 percent of the time the first algorithm which we think of is wrong i request you guys to test your algorithm on 15 test cases that will help you identify a test case on which algorithm does not work so let's say you find out a, a test case where algorithm will not work you will improve upon the algorithm you will optimize the algorithm and then uh, after multiple tries you will end up with the correct solution so this is the way this is the process which you should follow while attempting a question and if you will do this you will get better at problem solving for sure fourth point is a very very important point and i feel that this is the major point because of which people are not becoming good at logic building and people are not becoming uh, good problem solvers so you would have heard about many DSA sheets which are available in the market. The main problem with these DSA sheets is that when you are solving a DSA sheet, you already know the topic of the problem. So let's say if you have solved 10 problems on graphs and I come to you and provide you with an 11th problem and I tell you that this problem is also on graphs, I have done half of the job for you because you already know that this problem is from graphs but a great problem solver a good problem solver is not like you actually he or she actually solves the problem from scratch thinks of the logic and then comes to a conclusion that that this problem is going to be solved by graphs they are not like you who are knowing the dsa topic beforehand this is not problem solving this is not logic building so my request is to please solve random questions you can go on to lead code you can go on to code forces and solve random questions i know that this is a difficult task because you're getting out of your comfort zone you are you will not know the dsa topic beforehand and that is what you need that is what you will encounter in coding rounds and interviews you will not know the dsa topic beforehand so you will have to solve random problems and trust me i developed my logic building and problem solving ability by solving random questions on code forces it helped me a lot and it will help you as well fifth point and i don't know how many times i've stated this is to give a lot of contests by giving contests you will not only encounter random problems but it will also help you improve your logic building and problem solving skills how so we don't really only want to improve our logic building and problem solving but we also want to clear those coding rounds and interviews of the top product based companies Companies. but these coding rounds and interviews are time bound so actually we want to solve problems think of a logic in a stipulated time and the contests are the best way to practice this so go on to lead code go on to code forces give a lot of contests it will help you a lot personally i gave a lot of contests in code forces more than 50 contests in the code forces and a lot of contests on lead code as well and that helped me gain confidence that helped me understand how to think of logic how to solve problem in a stipulated time uh, in uh, when there is so much pressure when you just have 10 minutes left or 5 minutes left and you have to solve that question you will understand that scenario uh, which you will encounter in actual coding round so you want to be prepared beforehand so contest will help you there in contest you will be solving three to four problems in about 90 minutes or two hours and mostly you will not be able to solve all the questions but that's fine that happens with everyone but it is very important to up solve that question which you are not able to solve in the contest because that is the question that will uh, introduce you to a new concept to a new technique and those questions are the ones which will help improve your problem solving ability six point i again don't know how many times i have told this that you will have to be consistent problem solving and logic building is not something which will come your way so easily you will have to put up the effort and if you are willing to do so you will be good to go that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new don't forget to join the live stream which will be held on sunday 5 pm you can ask me any questions whichever you have in your mind and i'll be more than happy to answer till then keep learning keep growing and stay healthy